Meanwhile, the 23 teams running the Bear Grease 120 are also racing along the North Shore Trails tonight. Right now, Joanna Oberg of Grand Marais is in the lead with Remy LaDuke of New Brunswick in second and Heather Brandon from Cook, Minnesota in third. As of 8.30 tonight, they were about 75 miles into the 107-mile race. But before they get there, Northern News Now's Briggs LaSavage caught up with last year's mid-distance champion who says this year's race will be very different for her. Rita Wessler may be the Bear Grease 120's defending champion, but this year she says she's just hoping to have fun out on the trail as it's been a tough training year for her and her team. As the Tofty Minnesota native and her dogs approached the starting line Sunday morning, Wessler knew their training load was a bit lighter than usual. The 44 inches of snow the North Shore got at the beginning of the winter, followed by another snowstorm that brought 40 mile per hour winds, caused some significant damage on the trail she typically runs near her home. So instead of the 14 dogs she's used to training with, she had to take out smaller teams, making it easier to navigate around all the down trees and other debris. That meant more training runs more often. While that made for a physically tough year, Wessler says it was even more difficult mentally. Uh, I just want to finish this year. Um, like I said, I, I, I had a, a very tough year and then, um, sorry. Two weeks ago, my mother-in-law died, so that put a stint on the training as well. So um, it's, been, it's been a challenging year. So the thing is, is the battle cry this year is, we're gonna go have fun. And you can see at the start, her dogs were more than ready for all that fun as they started their 107-mile journey along the North Shore. Wessler says this year, her team of Alaskan Huskies is made up of six females and two males, something that's pretty unusual for her. With the cold weather and the packed down trails, she's expecting it to be a fast race. Wessler and the rest of the 120 teams are expected to cross the finish line at the Trestle Inn sometime early Monday morning. We'll be following the race all along the way and bring you updates on Northern News Now. And Briggs will be at the finish line tomorrow and bring us the very latest on the winner. By the way, Wessler says her mother-in-law, Florence Wessler, Wessler, was well known and loved on the North Shore. She and her family had a logging camp near Isabella called Sawbill Landing. They also built the North Shore Market in Tofty. Florence Wessler was just about to turn 97 years old when she passed.